Dearly beloved, we are gathered together here in the sight of God and in the face of this congregation to join together this man and this woman. A year later, on the 15th of June, in the year 1773, Redmond Barry had the honor to lead to the altar the Countess of Linden. The ceremony was performed by the Reverend Samuel Runt, her ladyship's chaplain. Is not in any way to be enterprised, nor taken in hand unadvisedly, lightly or wantonly, to satisfy men's carnal lusts and appetites like brute beasts that have no understanding. But reverently, discreetly, advisedly, soberly, and in the fear of God. Duly considering the causes for which matrimony was ordained. First, it was ordained for the procreation of children to be brought up in the fear and nurture of the Lord and to the praise of his holy name. Secondly, it was ordained for a remedy against sin and to avoid fornication that such persons... As Barry had now arrived at the pitch of prosperity and by his own energy had raised himself to a higher sphere of society. Having procured His Majesty's gracious permission to add the name of his lovely lady to his own. Thenceforth, Redmond Barry assumed the style and title of Barry Lyndon. Redmond, would you mind not smoking for a while? Redmond? Lady Lyndon was soon destined to occupy a place in Barry's life, not very much more important than the elegant carpets and pictures which would form the pleasant background of his existence. Well, Lord Bullingdon, you seem particularly glum today. You should be happy that your mother has remarried. Not in this way. not in such haste, and certainly not to this man. I think you judge your mother too harshly. Do you not like your new father? Not very much. He seems to me little more than a common opportunist. I don't think he loves my mother at all, and it hurts me very much to see her make such a fool of herself. 